Yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm glad you said that. So um, also with UAL, because we're showing strength on the macro time frames. Um, it should give you a little bit more confidence that it could potentially go back up tomorrow. And then the gap up, it's hard for me to see things that gap up like it did today and then come right back down the following day. Like that. <coughs> that's not how it goes. Um, if anything, this one would go flat, <coughs> but for it to come back and fill the gap <coughs> tomorrow or anything like that, I'm not, I'm not quite sold on that thinking. So anyway, that's you, A.L. Uh, we'll keep it moving. We won't spend as much time on all the others that we did that one. Um, next one I look at is Dow Commons, um, just because we want to take a look. Similar deal to the others. It was like we had a smaller gap up with a little bit of a push up last hour. So um, then again, this is another one that pushed down towards the end of the day. Um, it's not giving you the best looking setup. So it's one that, you know, it is in continuity on the macros except for on the four hours so um you know it's one of those things you gotta like make a decision on do you feel uh there's gonna be relative strength with this ticker or um is this gonna kind of move with the rest of the market um mo was another one today that was uh that showed out it it it, it did very well today As you all can see on the hour here, um, I like the way XLP stocks were performing today um, in the midst of all of that pull down because they didn't really pull down to the end, whereas a lot of stocks were, were uh, red the entire day. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna set an alert on MO, see if we get another push up tomorrow. Um, I like stocks that are showing relative strength when there's bearish activity. Uh, that, that gives me a, a better feeling versus like trying to guess what's going to go tomorrow. Um, so if we do get, um, and this one has a downside setup as well. Um, so I'm, I'm putting in, I'm going to put in both actually, but um, I'm inclined to think if we do get bearish activity, I'll play something else like a TLT or a VIX or something like that versus um, playing puts on one of these, um, especially like an MO. Um, that's not something I really like to look at for puts. I might look somewhere else for puts if I wanted to do the puts. So uh, that's another thing. Like, yeah, you can have setups both to the downside and to the upside, but you still got to make that discernment uh, in terms of if it's like a, a good trade to take puts on, or should you go somewhere else for that, that downside thinking? But anyway, uh, moving on, we got Prime Minister. I'm gonna pull it up and chart it. Um, obviously, a lot of the pack are, are in that play. As you can see right here, this is what I'm talking about. We had bearish activity in the afternoon. This one stayed green. Um, it did pull down a tab, but not a lot. If you can look at the hourly, chart you can see how price how price behaved in the, um during the day after it broke out in the morning so uh, this is one that you should look at positively especially if we uh, turn out to be bullish tomorrow then honestly we don't need to be bullish to be honest i you know i always talk about this relative strength factor because um we oftentimes will be in plays that are going off when the rest of the market's red. So if people ask me a lot of times, um, why you, um, are you looking at puts? So why you why you look predominantly at calls? Um, that's primarily why is because you know we're pretty good at identifying where the relative strength is in the market, no matter the market condition. So if 85 or 90 percent of the market is bearish. Um, best believe we're going to be in that 10 or 15% that's bullish. <laughs> so, so a lot of times it's like, well, I mean, I could, but if I know it's going up, I'm going to just play that versus, you know, playing everything that's going down. So it's just a matter of like uh, preference. Let's 
So PM definitely putting that one on the list for tomorrow. That one looks looks solid to take to definitely have on the list. Next one I'll take a look at is Verizon VZ. Uh, shout out to that boy Brick. I know he stayed playing Verizon. I think he said he was an at t today. Um, but yeah, on Verizon, um, you got, looks like we touched the broad information and bounced off of that. That's a good sign. Um, so here, so again, um, they got earnings in the they got earnings in the morning resume. Just FYI. Oh, like, okay, okay, okay. I'm like going through too much, you know. Yeah, huh. interesting. That 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 makes it very interesting tomorrow. Yeah, just so you know, y'all the favorite Schlum. Them and Schlum got uh. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm I'm excited about Schlum though. Um, VZ. Okay. Um. I'm I'm not gonna set the alert, but I wouldn't be mad at anybody if they did. Um, but yeah, Verizon, that should be interesting in the morning. See how we open up. Oh yeah, and CLF too. I forgot about them. That's a yeah. Okay. Yeah. CLF. That's that thing that that has my attention for sure. All right. Um. Getting... What is this? Oh, UNG, United States Natural Gas. Yeah, everything got United States on the front. <laughs> Kroger. Uh, let's take a look at Kroger. All oh, these damn broad informations. Yeah. So Kroger. Again, it looks like it just pulled back to its broad information on the week level. The expectation is that we should get a little bit of a bounce right there, sitting on top of the volume shelf too. Um, hmm, Kroger looks interesting. Again, it's XLP, so we should be um, feeling more bullish on XLP. We saw how it performed most of the day into the afternoon. Um, Two one two. Okay, um, that's just keep your eye on it. It's not giving the best looking setup. It needs to on the four hour get to what is this fifty eight fifty two. So actually, that's not bad. I'm gonna throw this one on there. I don't like large percentage moves on the underlying to hit my triggers, especially on these four hours. They need to make a decision quick. I don't want it to get tied before it hit the trigger. We got there the thing it hit exhaustion as soon as it hit the trigger. You're like, God dang. 50. Oh, it's a three one two. Ooh. <laughs> We're gonna be narrowed down. I'm seeing <coughs> oh, chunky soup. <coughs> what is chunky soup looking like? Campbell's. Campbell's doesn't look as good. It didn't get the major pull down like the other ones did. It did have a little bit of corrective activity. I'm gonna leave Campbell's alone, but I don't think Campbell's is gonna go too down tomorrow. What's our price level? 47.80, so it needs about 30, <laughs> it needs about, it needs over a percent move. Okay. <laughs> That's not too bad. CPB8 doesn't have far to go. I'm not gonna say every trigger though. <clears throat> Yeah. Okay, we got Colgate, then Kimberly Car. It's a lot of staples. <laughs> a lot. Ooh, Colgate with the shooter. Again, you got to ask yourself do you feel like uh, Staples is going to pull down tomorrow? It's really about what you believe is going to happen tomorrow. 
the obvious look is like, oh, we're going to push down. But uh, we never know until pre-market opens. Um, so based on what we've seen on this setup, it's giving us this, this downside setup with the shooter on the outside. Um, I'm sorry, uh, shooter in the afternoon session. Uh, so it's giving us a 212 potentially to the downside. Um, what level is this? Below 8203. My mind tells me if it does go to the downside, we're probably going to hit the top of this broad information in here and try to make a bounce back to the upside. So maybe looking to get down to about that 8178, 88, 8180 level. Then it bounce from there. Um, so you may get like an outside four hour, like another three. It might make another three on the, on the four tomorrow, just based on how the setup looks. And because I feel like the setup, it may, price action may, may force it down, but it's going to come back up. I don't see it going too down in the day. So. This is kind of my read, my read on that one. So you may get the outside candle, which uh, is very common for, uh, you know, the morning four hour candles, KMB, more staples. Another shooter. Yeah, downside setup. This one looks a little bit better for downside move though. This is a two one two um, below one twenty seven ninety seven. Uh, would be put some KMB. Um, <coughs> I would just look to take it back to point of control, even if it made it that far. I would just have to draw some micro BFs to see, because uh, <coughs> my mind's telling me we Staples is gonna push up tomorrow. Uh -oh. What we got next? Oh, Coke Boys. This is a Staples party around this piece. So, again, Coke's trapped with the. Ah, Coke is trapped between two brown information. Looks like it made its way down to this monthly level. Uh, what do we see when this happens? We're gonna expect a bounce to occur. Coke to push back up to the top of this range on this BF here, which is probably like 66, 80 range. Um, maybe on that retest, it breaks through, but uh, that's what I'm looking at on Coke. Um, Unless we got down or something like that. Like that's the only thing that may seem strange. All right, uh, let's keep it rolling. Let's keep it rolling. Oh, I think I already had some tickets I was buying too, but we'll get into those in a minute. All right, EA. Yeah, that one looks more on the downside tip. I like this EA. This looks more textbook on the four hour. This is a put setup though. Uh, we got a two one two on the four hour. Um, that is below one twenty three sixty two, so twelve cents away. And we got air and opportunity to make it back to this broad information here, like one twenty two flat somewhere around there, maybe a little bit above one twenty two. You got the the bottom of the volume range is like at one twenty two thirty four, so. Um, in that area, you could take those puts down to that. Um, so anyway, yeah, that, that one right there, I would be more inclined to look at for puts because it's in a weak sector. You don't want to take puts in a strong sector. Let's check out GILD, the Lumen. My connection. All right, here we go. GILD looks like a potential put setup as well. Got 312 set up potentially on the four hour below 6366. Uh, your first target would be 6317. 
Uh, hit a little quick, little quick lick right there off that little bam bam. Um, if it did break below that first target, you're looking at 62.60 in that range. Um, and next daily, next bar target would be 62.98. So, you got a couple targets there on GLD. Not bad. So, let's go take a look at staples. I mean, uh, discretionary. Sorry. Um, this was trending down. Again, looking at potential put setup on this one, bed, bath, beyond. 312 to the downside, <clears throat> below 1627. First target would be 1618. You may look to take it down to like the 1574 level. All right, I have to draw this BF right here with this three and see what that took me down to. But uh, okay. Wow. This TLT should give us a bullish look to set up. I think I have an alert on that one already. Yeah. <clears throat> so TLT, uh, which is 20 year bonds. I do not have an alert on this. Um, but anyway, it has a four hour setup, um, a 212, and that's above 120.77. So if we are bearish tomorrow, this would be one of the places I look. Um, should push up and uh, the market's pulling down. All right. Um, so we'll see what happens. Um, I always want to take a look at VIX when I take a look at TLT. Yeah, so yeah, you could potentially get a little something, something like VXX, but some people like to play VIX. Yeah, so it looks like continuation on VIX, but it's also confident, but UVXY. Yeah, so it looks like bullish, it looks like bullishness on the on VIX. And, Bonds. So let's see. All right, let's see what y'all got in the chat. I think we pretty much done here. Um, we got UPS, FedEx, Silver, Netflix. Yes. This trap. This was trap. Yeah, I, yeah, this one's trapped. I'll leave it alone. FedEx. Looks like FedEx bounced off the point of control, though. Um, this one showed a little strength right here, which makes sense. So this one could potentially do something tomorrow, try to rev back to the upside. Keep an eye on that. Hard off that BF. <clears throat> so let's keep it rolling. Let's keep it rolling. Netflix. I want to take a look at Netflix real quick and silver, and then we can get to the chat. Look at that Netflix. What y'all think? What y'all think about Netflix? It's giving you a bullish four hour setup. They had the major drop. What you think? You think it's gonna go back down some more? Yeah, 218. I think it went down to 212 earlier today. I think it's cheap. What y'all think? I'm gonna throw it on there. Hold on. Price is 218. See, uh, what you gonna see with Netflix is this thing gonna flat for a while. I ain't gonna touch it. I'm gonna leave it alone. All right. 
I ain't touching it. Oh, all right, let's get to the chat. Let's see what y'all looking at. Let's see what y'all looking at. So as you can see, it ain't giving us no uh, too many, too many looks. Yeah, FedEx looked like it. It did bounce. It looked like it tried to bounce at the end of the day, though. Stace FedEx looked like it tried to show a little strength. Slum. They got the early morning after uh, uh, early morning earnings. Like the Brown said, that chart looked nasty. That looked nasty. Ooh wee. FedEx. I'm gonna take one more look at FedEx. But uh yeah. I did like the fact that it was showing it did show some strength at the end of the day. So that's a good sign. I'm gonna I'm gonna just set the alert so I can throw some BS on it later. I don't know how I feel about it just yet though. All right. What TGT doing, man? TGT pushed. <laughs> Gave us a four hour rev. Okay. That PM was probably about to miss more. So. Nike, Tesla, Amazon. There ain't no signals. They already enforced them one way or the other. <clears throat> yeah, so that's bad. Tesla looks like it got closer to BF. It didn't touch it though. Tesla's in conflict. I don't trust it. Right now. Amazon looks like it wants to make its way to this broad information below, right around 2900. There is no setup, it's just continuation. Abby Vibe, you know, I like that one. Like everybody just actually just went flat on the day, actually. Um, up slightly more. Yeah, it's really giving you the downside setup. Um, I don't think it would go too low if it did drop. Um, we do got the 322 on the four hour, that's below 158.03. That's about a 50 cent move. Um, it's like less than half a percent um, on the underlying. So, I mean, it could make that move. If it does break down, then you're looking at a 156 level. So you got some room to get there. You probably will get below that, maybe the one down to 155. But <clears throat> that's if you do get bearish activity in the morning. Sure we do. Yeah, we went through all of these. Oh, WBA. <clears throat> yep. Inter interesting way, WBA, I was still up on those contracts, like after hearing fairly recently. Cool down. NUE. I used to, uh, I used to know them. <clears throat> so yeah, NUE got the 212. We're looking like on the four hour, um, more so looking downside, but um, 
below 173.92 will be an entry point on that one. And I would be looking to take it down to like that 166.50 level, somewhere in there. Um, not sure if it'll drop much further than that, but um, it's at an uptrend. So <clears throat> if you get any bearish activity, it's gonna be short. CLF, I like that. I like the way that it showed, you know, a little bit of strength towards the end. But it got it got obliterated this morning. <clears throat> so it did not like that broad information level. Um, so that's what that's really what it's about. Is it gonna reverse to go back and retest that? Yeah. They got earnings in the morning too. Right, right, right. So that's what we'll be looking for. If earnings turns out to be good, then yeah, we're looking at this little two, three, two, two, um, to the upside above thirty dollars and seven cents. You know, we'll we'll see what happens. Um, uh, yeah, so we'll see the earnings. A lot of stuff with the earnings is what, you know, I know we're gonna be looking for a lot of those tickets. This one of the few earnings where like actually a lot of the pack cares. CMPG, this is continuation to the downside. There's no setups, no triggers, but it's just, it's downside. I don't see nothing else happening there. Spy calls, let's take a look at spy. Whew. Um, no, um, cause is not what I'm thinking on spy. If I'm just looking at it from that perspective, just to, just to see, uh, we, uh, we don't need more than, uh, yeah, we would need a lot to turn a spy. I mean, I don't know if I'd be wanting to look at spy right now. I mean, sure. If you catch something on the micro, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, that could potentially be the case, but I mean, let's see what it's showing you. There ain't no setup to the downside though. It's still just showing, it's showing force to the downside. I mean, when do we turn the week red? Let me see. Four, yeah. We turn the week red at 4.36. It can't be right. Four thirty. Oh, four thirty-six eighty-one. Okay, so another dollar twenty cents. We're gonna be full time frame continuity to the downside on the spot. So, so if we do continue pushing down like that, I mean, now as far as staples and the stocks that we, majority of the stocks we looked at, um, they're they're like a small holding within spot, so they don't necessarily go down all the time with spot us. So. That's one thing that works in your favor being the staples. But yeah, just spy by itself though. Oh uh, no. It did give that bounce. Um looks like creating some wick, but yeah, yeah. It'd be nice to get a V-shaped recovery tomorrow though. I mean, I ain't gonna lie, that'd be nice. <laughs> but uh I can't, there's no expectation. We want to take a look at the tip. Okay, Stace. Only because you asked. Yeah, try tip, huh? All right. Uh, yeah, this one right here looks strong. Enforce. This is like we're getting a real reversal happening on the wheat level. Uh, it could potentially go outside wheat tomorrow. Or if it stayed two down, that was set up for a very nice two-two rev on the week with the PMG on the week. Uh, yeah, uh, that one looks that one looks like that looks good. The tip looks good, sir. Uh -huh. A T E R. Uh, I don't 
I'm familiar with the ticker, but I don't think I've played it. ATER looks solid though on the four hour. Play that people at the party. Yes, it is. See that hammer on the four. Um, you got strength. Only conflict we've got is um, weak, sitting on the point of, top of point of control. What level is, do we go green on the weak? That's 536. Sheesh. Yeah, so we got we got a little bit of ways to go to go back green on the weak, but it does look like a fire setup above $4.75. Somebody will have to check to see if they have contracts, though. And then, they might. LMT, KMI. Yeah, LMT. LMT, just cooling off, just looks like. Um, this should be a level where we should see some buying kick in. Um, that's what I would expect out of LMT. As far as tomorrow, um, it's sitting on the bottom of this volume range. We'll see if there's some buy orders here or if it pushes down, but I don't, I think we're at that level um, where we, we should start to see some buying. So um, yeah, LMT just taking a break, looks like this week. <clears throat> They just they just said they put in some more money and make some more planes and some more bombs. So, but if you if you look at the week time frame, you can see it's just been choppy. This has been choppy in this area, kind of like a uh, like a macro flag kind of thing. It's just it's just flat right there. It looks like it's gonna break out to the next leg up here soon though. So, uh, made the outside three you know the three down expectations that we'll get a bounce next week um as far as tomorrow though um if it does give you continuation to the downside it's not going to be about much i think we're at a buy level there kmi kmi is funny um I don't know. KMI looks look like to me like tomorrow you could potentially, depending on what how it opens up. Like if if uh, oil gap down, didn't it gap down today? Yeah. So, um, I mean, it's a slight chance it could gap down again, but um, my thinking is maybe strong inside day tomorrow on uh, KMI. Or if you know, because earnings were worth they were, it may it may show out that uh, you know how finicky energy stocks can be. So you just gotta watch them on a day to day. It's not giving a setup right now, though. So that would be my thought. Not any setup up or down. Um, CVS. Similar deal, CVS, no setup. Looks like continuation potentially to the downside. There's a gap below that it could go and like say, forget it, I'm gonna go fill this gap. Um, those that are in, I'll, you know, it just, it hit this broad information level and it didn't like it. That's really what happened on CVS. It hit the BF, uh, normal price action, hit the BF, uh, reacted off of that weekly level. It didn't even make it to the second one, just hit out that first one and came up, making its way back down. So it's got to come find some buy orders. Uh, so I'm thinking that it could potentially continue down, fill this gap down in here, get, you know, get bought up and then make its way back to go retest. So if you got time, ain't nothing to worry about. But if you're short on time, you might want to keep your uh, belt loops tight. All right, um, this one here, J and J, it's flat. It is going flat. I don't know if it's going to be ready to make a move tomorrow. Now we know tomorrow, you know, Friday J and J will show out. So, I mean, if if healthcare show does its thing tomorrow, um, then sure, take a look at it. But 
Um, it's more so giving a downside three two two setup, but I don't know. This is like a, a area where there's a lot of buy orders on this volume shelf here. So yeah, I'm, yeah, I don't know. I think there's buy orders here. So I don't know if uh, J and J's like the downside setup we're thinking, just based on what the code is saying. Um, we may we may get bought up and just stay flat. If at worst case scenario, like it's been doing all week. What am I doing? There we go. Um, CLF, Cleveland Cliffs. Oh, yeah, we talked about Cleveland Cliffs. It's starting to coil. So that's a good sign for tomorrow. So, yeah, we should keep an eye out for uh, Cleveland Cliffs, potential 322. Um, above thirty dollars and seven cents. Um, so that would be a level just to keep your eye out for for uh, Cleveland Cliffs. It, and potentially, yeah, your first target would be thirty one sixty six, but you just be mindful of the BF before you get there. That's going to be around thirty one forty seven. I wonder what time spy. <laughs> the stairway to hell. That's how that's how spot look for real. HL. Nah, we didn't look at HL. That damn. Hey, the only thing I don't like on these zero days is like the the ones with the the, the low price level. Um, small the small caps, penny stock types. They uh, they don't give me the performance I like on zero days, but the setup looks looks clean. We got two two reversal on the four hour. That could go. That could go. So let's see what else we got here. Cat. Cat's gonna have to get back above that BF. I ain't fooling with cat. Not right now. Can't figure itself out. Lucid. This is most like continuation to the downside tomorrow. I don't see, don't see any buyers anywhere. Take a look at uh -oh. Yeah, a lot of bearish today. Not much out there that look showed us much of anything. We're gonna wrap it up. Looks like um, what we got in the chat. Twitter. Oh, uh, Twitter. Uh, let's take a look at Twitter and IP, huh? Okay, yeah. Twitter actually, yeah. Twitter did hold up pretty solidly. Um, end of the day. We just stay right at the point of control. We'll keep an eye out. We'll keep an eye out for it. I'll hold the uh, alert level. See what it does. I don't like communications though, but um, we'll see. We'll see. Tomorrow gonna be interesting. Giving everybody all these bearish setups. This is gonna be a schmacker too. It's gonna bob up. Let me see if I can. I don't really care what it does. Hey, hey, I told y'all on the call today. I like it when it's bearish Fridays. Show y'all, show y'all how we work. All right. Um. Yeah, I saw Twitter had more Elon news. Interesting. Yeah. I don't like the 
I don't like that day chart on IP though. It, it crosses a death. All right. Um, any more tickers? I'm not seeing anything that's uh, tickling my fancy. Y'all good? Y'all good? How y'all feeling? I kind of like, I don't know. All right, all right. Well, shoot, I guess I'm gonna let y'all have it, man. We gonna uh, get up out of here. Um, oh, I did want to point out X though. X and CLF, keep an eye on both of them tomorrow. Want to find the relative strength, so you know we gonna beat watch. <laughs> I ain't gonna say that does. It's all good, people. Y'all make sure y'all y'all got y'all alert set though for all these tickers. Um, I think they sold this off this afternoon to get it to rip it tomorrow. Anyway, we go. Uh, we gonna see. So I like that X. X is one that, that really showed out end of the day. CLF has the earnings. We got the African Americans. Um, they got down yesterday or today. So they, you know, I'm. I would leave them alone just because. Um, and then like FICO was talking about um, as well as Veil. Keep your eye on Veil. Just, you know, materials could make a move tomorrow. That's all I'm saying. So keep them on your radar. If we get, and I'm pretty, I'm not gonna say I'm sure anything. I'm gonna just say, if the earnings report is good tomorrow, then we, you should know what the rest is history. Y'all ain't got no more tickets, y'all good? <laughs> mm -hmm. Trying to sneak it in on us. Um, What else we got? Anything else before we get up out of here? Um, Oh, I do got some uh, WPM. Keep an eye on them as well. SLB Silver. That was another inside four hour setup we did. We had what I wanted to point out. Steady Eddie, like I like I like our boy Boss Gang would say. Steady Eddie Silver. All right. Keep an eye on Steady Eddie. What else we got? Anybody else? How the oil looking? Oil was down. The oil took a hit today. So what y'all think? More downside. Okay, my held up though. You know. Oh, no, nah, I ain't even take a look at Big Runs. Take a look at Big Run. Yeah, Big Run just came back to the BF. Um, it's a big, it's a quarterly level BF. It should, it should be held up there. We'll see. Eh, yeah, I, I mean, I expect Run to push back up. It's probably gonna retest them Run informations. Um, as y'all know, there's a lot of tickers hit broad informations today. So um, this is just price, normal price action. It's just what happened was they all came down, they all hit broad informations at the same time. So when that happens, you get all these, you know, it looks like something, there wasn't no real news. It was just <laughs> based on the charts, it looked like there's a lot of stuff hit tops of broad informations today um, around the same time. And 
they just did not react well. So then, you know, they sneak some news in after that. But um, but anyway, that's what it looks like to me. Um, so it looks like they just pushed the price down, um, scare everybody off, and then let it rip again tomorrow. So we'll see what happens actually, though. But, um, he, you know, WBA was like, Looks like we're really setting up for a three two two back to the downside below forty six seventy four, uh, which is seven cents away. So it could trigger that four hour to the downside, um, maybe push down to 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 the day's low. Um, I'm not sure if it would go too down on the day. I don't even know if it would push down to the low level. But um, XLP was showing strength regardless of what the rest of the rest of the market was doing. So. Anyway, I think that's just my my personal take on it. Um, Nvidia, that's more downside movement, continuation to the downside. Um, you just need to find an intraday TTO um, so you can get out, so you can get in that trade. Um, but okay, it uh, looks like y'all are good. Um, so all right, well I'll catch y'all in the morning pre market. We gonna um, we gonna find where the money reside like we always do. I like these I like these Fridays anyway. It's uh it's confusing. Everybody thinking it's oh my god. So we gonna we gonna work. We gonna we gonna we gonna give them this work tomorrow, y'all. So anyway, y'all have a good evening. Y'all get some rest. Catch y'all in the morning. Peace.